and we're back. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so my sister was telling me, um, well, because I went to New Orleans, and so my sister, I was worried about um, going to get tested because my manager messaged me and she's like, there was a peak in either Louisiana or LA, I don't know, it's LA capital, so <clears throat> I'm assuming Louisiana. Big, with people who had the coronavirus because of Mardi Gras, and she's like, you, you, maybe you should get tested. That's why I wanted to know because I'm, I just moved to Tennessee from Orange County, California, and yeah. did a lot of work in and LA, some craziness California. In California. So I was yeah. like, I'm so confused why everybody from Los Angeles went to Mardi Gras. Not that you can't. Yeah, I'm sure it's a lot of fun, yeah. but it seems like Louisiana but, um, is more appropriate. Well, and so, um, and so I was talking to my family. So we're using Zoom. So we had like a Zoom dinner. So we all like were cooking and eating Explain dinner. What Zoom is red yeah. Light. So Zoom. We red light I was, in a long oh, time. we haven't. Red light coronavirus and how to get rid of it. We don't have that answer. <laughs> but we'll zoom you later. <laughs> so Zoom is like, um, I, it was the first time using it because um, we've been trying to figure out like a conference call with like multiple video type thing besides Skype because Skype, I don't know, Skype was... Uh, Zoom is more user friendly. Skype seems more one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, and well, and you can do businesses, but you have to pay for the business ones. Zoom is actually right. free, um, and then you can see all the, you can see everybody. You can, it's a video for everybody. Um, so, um, also, if you just want to leave on the person, it just does the video to whoever talks at the time. So it'll flip back and forth to whoever right. talks. So if you're at home, if we wanted to have a Zoom, you could have your tablet and then there'd be little pictures of everybody that you were in conference with. Yep. My mom actually uses it for book club, which is amazing to know. That she knows that. Well, I mean, it's amazing that the technology, I remember in the 80s, people couldn't get their VCRs not to flash 12. Yeah. And it was everybody. And now the technology is so easy to use that you have people in their 70s, 80s, and and they're yeah. able to use these apps, they're able to use this way to communicate to each other because it's so user friendly. Yeah, yeah, and for situations like these as well. So we were Zooming um, and eating dinner together and I was like, you know, That's maybe awesome. I should go get tested right. um, because, you know, the whole New Orleans thing, there's a peak um, in people who are testing positive. And my sister told me that um, save the test for if you have like major symptoms. major symptoms, yeah. Just stay at home. Just yeah. stay quarantined. Self-quarantine. Um, self and um, don't get other people sick. But if you are healthy and you don't feel any symptoms, don't go out there and waste tests um, for people who are actually sick yeah, and they might need them. Yeah, they're having a hard enough time trying to, trying to get them. For resources yeah. and stuff right. like that. So um, just, just be smart about it um, because... What y'all were telling me, you think that there's the bell curve. Um, is like if we have people that are quarantined, you know, if we let it up, then yes, we'll have another peak, but at least we'll have more resources. Right. Um, the idea be behind the quarantining. So if you go online, there's models of the different ways to deal with this. And if they you don't do anything, there's a huge bell curve. And everybody gets sick and everybody gets better. And that seems to be the, the way of the natural world if you didn't have internet and you didn't have the information that you have that's what would happen people would get sick and it would transmit to everybody some people would not show symptoms and the other people would you'd have uh, the elderly die like they are and everybody it would happen so fast that everybody who's gonna die would die really quickly so when you go to a quarantining sort of model now what you're doing is you're taking all those people but because they don't know that much about it they can seem like they don't have symptoms anymore and when they're let out they may still have symptoms, they may still carry the virus, and then that it goes, it gives you a little bit of a, a leeway, and then that bell curve returns. Well, and also, there's um, what Boobin was telling us that uh, they're thinking that 1.2 million people will be in hospitals, and like, right. we've, there, you know, also, there's like, I think uh, Summit only has like 23,000 beds, and so, like, if Nashville just comes down, like, and everybody's tested positive for it, like. You know, we don't have the resources for that. Right. So the fact that you're quarantining yourself and is helping all, everybody out and helping. But there's us. two other models too that are important too. Not just the quarantining, which gives you some time, but there's also the what is it? Safe distancing, self distancing. Yeah. What are they calling it? Yeah. There's the moderate distancing, which what that does is again it creates a 
longer uphill to get to that bell curve and that's what they're trying to do now and a lot of the places like Nashville they're trying to go to almost a mandated self quarantine yeah so that now you have maybe 60% of the workforce that works you have 40% of the workforce that's absolutely supposed to stay out of the way yeah so that if people who are working get sick they're still distancing themselves enough from that those people that they have 40% yeah. they don't have to worry about so if you're aggressive about that distancing, and that's why this two weeks is so important, is they want to go, give us two weeks, and that'll be two weeks that it we'll be able to... Figure some shit out. Figure some stuff out with the ventilators for the hospitals, figure some stuff out with the staffing. viruses. Staffing. I, staffing also. I know that doctors are starting to get sick. Um, um, also, I've heard that um, unemployment places are hiring because there's so many there's people, so many people that are filing so right. if you guys are looking for jobs there's I mean I don't know if they can do it from home or anything or because I know I signed up online so I don't know if there's like right. the acceptance um, but if I've you heard, can drive Amazon's continually hiring people yeah. delivery places you're getting you know if, if you have a, a car if you have a license if you have the ability to drive you can go to probably some grocery stores or places of need and you know, communicate to them with do they need drivers, do they need help, do they need Yeah, I know Walmart Walmart and Amazon are hiring like by the dozens, hundreds and um so And I think that there's a mala is it a malaria drug? That there's a drug out there that yeah, was for something of, else. Yeah. But I think it was malaria, I'm not one hundred percent sure. Mm. That they're you, that they're getting good test results for right. how this is working and they may start using that. Because oh, there's really? because there's still a lot of if they come up with a virus, there's really supposed to be a testing pattern before you really start letting it out to the public. So, okay, like, this is one thing I haven't researched, which is probably, I mean, I've just researched, like, preventative things and things like that. So how did it even start? Um, because I don't know. Ever... I don't think they know. Well, there's been speculation, and there's been a lot of, I would say, inappropriate talk about China and... Finger and pointing. There's been, well, there's, ish, there's finger pointing to be had with the government. Uh, well, but I've the, heard I've heard multiple scenarios. Like I've heard that there was cross contaminations with like you know like where they're killing the animals here and then they're serving it here. Well, the rumor, and I've also heard like the rumor travelers. is well, I mean it no. all started in the Wuhan Peninsula of China. Well, and and the what the immediate attack was on the Chinese was it that they were eating raw bats stuff like that and that the food sources there was an open air market in Wuhan and if I'm pronouncing it wrong I'm sorry. That they're saying that some maybe some of that food was infected with the virus, and then as it was being ingested, Consumed. that people were people were. I also it. this is also hearsay, um, but somebody had told me that it got it came down to like um, to like a scientific like laboratory, right. um, and they were just like, well, fuck, this wasn't but an it, accident. But I don't know. I, I, I didn't have research that at all. I haven't I don't researched. Think that's true at all. I think this yeah. was. I think this was evolution. You yeah, know, it's, I would go with that. It's it, you know and. and there's been a lot of talk that nobody saw this coming. That's not true. There's a there's a video of Bill Gates in 2015 talking about we do not need to worry about world annihilation, yeah. nuclear weapons and armament. He's like the next big deal is going to be a worldwide global pandemic. So there are people who have had this on their radar, but it's not the people who should have had it on their radar. Yeah, right. exactly. And so I don't want to go into that. We don't want to go into. We don't want to get political. Nope. We want to just keep it light. Keep yeah. It, you know, Informative. whether whether you believe that they made the right decisions or wrong decisions, we're not here to make that judgment. Well, and like I said, uh, uh, you guys are more the news watchers. So you said, like we were talking about the start. The stock market is crashing. The stock market is having a hard time. That's where again the stimulus package. It, again, without getting political, you have two different sides that disagree about how that money should be spent. So in, in trying to get the money to the people who need it, there's arguments over the other entities that the money's being delegated for. So, and I think that too, I mean, there's, I think the people are gonna need more than the initial stimulus. If this goes on for a oh, couple yeah. months, I think that that first stimulus package comes out and if they're it's not careful, gone. it's all gonna be gone and people are gonna be right back in the same boat. And, and you know, if. If we could go ahead and take it to care of it in the first go around, that'd be great. Yeah, and not have to worry about it as people are going to suffer well, in a couple months. It, there's talk of it being a set. Like if it does proceed to be a couple more weeks, there's talk of a second check 
but we don't know yet. There still, is talk, so. and that's the thing is like they're tr they're trying, trying to figure it out. They're trying to figure that now. I don't know where it is right now. Um, they're trying to figure out. I think that there should be a second check. I think that if people yeah, are hurting, yeah, this keeps coming. Yeah, like we've been paying taxes for. Um, I'm 34 years old. I've been working since I was 11, so right. a long fucking time for me, anyways. Uh, Legally? Yeah. Or is that before no. uh, street corner? Yes, I was uh, selling my body <laughs> at 11, 11 years old. old. Yeah. <laughs> no. I was not insinuating. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, but this, but the stimulus package, I think, is important, and you know, again, it's you have people on different sides wanting different things, and at some point, we really just need to. And the thing or, that sucks... Or hope that the people who really need help... And the small businesses, too. I mean, the big corporations, I think that they can... They have the ability to get the get their own loans. But the smaller companies, the smaller restaurants... Yeah, the smaller so like my, res mom and pop off my, like, yeah, my restaurant right. will survive this because, because I mean... That's what the, uh, yeah, my owner said that, but he's like, there's a lot of restaurants that right. won't survive this because they have to, they like, a lot. Yeah, okay. they, they can't, they of, can't afford to reopen. Right, there's a lot of music venues. Yep. There's a lot of, there's, there's a lot of, I mean, even, let's even take it to like tattoo shops. Yeah. You know, if, if you can't get you don't have tattoo, money to spend. Right. You know, if you can't pay the bills. Yeah. Then what yeah. are you going to do? And, well, I mean, and, and that's the thing, like a, a lot of bill like uh, like federal loans are being you know being uh, you don't have to pay for student loans, and the interest is being they're given a grace period. Yeah, but that's but what I'm curious your bills about being pile renters. Up. <laughs> being renters, like you're an owner, so. And I know you said you were going to pay your mortgage because you wanted to stay on time. You wanted to keep it. You got to pay it now. You got to pay it later. You're going to have to pay it. At some yeah, point. I don't and if want you have that. the ability. Might as well stay on it. When right. I, can. I don't want fifteen hundred dollars to come back and double up, triple double up, up. But quadruple for, up. That's but, a lot of money. For, I want to be able to. But being a renter, I'm curious that how many of the people who are getting a break on their mortgages are passing that down to their renters? I'm wondering. I would, I would dare guess slim to none. Right. Unless you just have I, that. I don't, I know, really that they're having, I know that they're having big issues in Florida about people paying their utilities. And yeah, they're, so they're cutting people's utilities off. There's actually a really cool video of a city manager of, I think it's Palm, Palm County, Florida, where the mayor's ready to move on to the next topic. And he's like, this is crazy. Because we're cutting people's power off and we're ready to move on to the next. That's not how this works. We came up with the rule system. We need to have a conversation. We need to make sure. It's, he said that? The mayor said yeah, that? No, the city manager. The mayor, and, and he, he was yelling. So he's like, because she was, she was like, we're moving on. He's no. She's like, yeah, we're moving on. He's like, no. So he starts yelling, and she's like, well, I'm just going to leave. And she adjourns the meeting just because she doesn't want to deal with it. And I'm like, that's kind that's of your way, whole purpose. That's kind of the way a lot of Florida is, though. You have the, the, especially in Palm County, you have the extremely rich and you have the extremely poor that are in the same county. And so, how much are the rich really caring if the poor's lights and power well, go off? You know, uh, they're not worried about it because they've got enough money in their bank account to be able to pay the next few months. Where there are a lot of people that you know they're paying pay pay, paycheck right. to paycheck, like Absolutely. they're just day to day even. Um, but I've gotten a lot of emails, like even Sprint has given me 60 days to pay, like right. a lot of emails uh, where it's pushing back, but still, like, but that, and that's what? The thing is that the corporations are giving you that, yeah. whereas the, go the local governments are not giving them the same leeway. But also, those people who are out of work for a month, say this lasts a month, and like, you just have, you know, it just keeps... It's, yeah, it's going to be longer. Well, I know, but it just, it, it just keeps, like, piling up and piling up. You're still going to have to pay it. That's why it's in payments. That's why it's in small amounts. And, yes, it saves you from, like, paying it, but, like, you, what are they going to do? They're just going to whip it back to them. Like, what are the... How are they going to pay it back in such a huge... If it lasts forever or right. however long, you know? It, it's just... That's why I'm just trying to like keep on it because I can't pay in a big lump sum. That's why I have a loan and that's why I have payments. So, um, and that's why most people are. There's a lot of people living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. And yep. if they have a gap of employment, then they have. I mean, that's what I'm doing right now. Whether they get paid weekly, that next week they don't get paid. Whether they get by weekly, that next paycheck that doesn't come, because at these. People I mean, that's where I'm at right now. Eat my kids, or am I going to keep my lights on? Yep. And you would hope that. The city would allow you to feed your kids and, and have keep your lights on. Yeah. 
But I mean, and like I said, we we've hit we've had a hit from the tornado and now all this and Nashville's like had a hard time in the last three or four months. And we had a tornado. And you I think just we got here. Did you bring it? I did bring it. And, we, and I think we had another tornado warning yesterday, yeah, but nothing ever happened. Definitely did. There was a tornado warning um, the next day, but it was more like right. North Kentucky. And that's all new to me. North I'm used to Kentucky. hurricanes and I'm used to earthquakes. And yeah. I'm not used to tornadoes. I mean, I grew up in Texas. Well, I didn't grow up in. I mean, from when I was eight, I remember my mom telling me. Um, she'd always have, be like the Girl Scouts, you know. She She's like, okay, ladies, tornado drill. And I'm like, mom. I see it a hundred yards away, and she's like, "Let's just all get in the hallway, tornado drill, ladies." Really? Yeah, and I was like, "I was like, how many fucking tornado drills have I lived through? Those real tornadoes, mom." I'm like, "I saw it like a hundred yards away," wow. and she's like, "And she's like, because I talked to her about it after we experienced a tornado, because it was fucking freaky." Um, because I grew up in North Carolina, I believe that we did hurricane drills, which probably were. Very oh yeah, similar. we did tornado. Did we you, did tornado and you hurricane drills. Tornado. Well, you, we had did tornado. The, you had to go out in the hallway. Yeah, and maybe they were tornadoes. They were tornado drills because, we, because we really don't get a lot of tornadoes in North Carolina. Well, well hurricanes are hurricanes. Well, I mean, yeah, hurricanes but, are kind of. But it was few and far between compared to what we're dealing with now. Right. Yeah, well, and yeah, uh, but there are. Hurricanes are also kind of like mini tornadoes in, no, in well, one. I mean, they're, yeah. they're not mini. They're, they can be they're bigger. Like, yeah. Uh, and so, <laughs> yeah. And so, um, but I was like, I was like, Mom, what the fuck? I forgot what the fuck we're talking about now. We're talking about hurricanes and tornadoes. Oh, tornado, tornado drills. drills. Oh, tornado drills. Half, 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, my mom's just like, tornado drill, and I was like, I fucking see it, mom. <laughs> and so I talked to her about it, and she's like, yeah, it was actually, I didn't remember this. I remember there was a couple of girls, like, I remember other girls being there, and she's like, yeah, it was the Girl Scouts. There was, like, she was having, like, a Girl Scout meeting, and uh, she got us all in the hallway, but we did that often. So that's yeah. why I'm like, I wonder how many fucking tornado drills were actual, like, tornadoes outside, because my mom's just oh, like, tornado so you drill! So you didn't know as a kid whether it was an actual Well, I didn't know until that point, and I was like, this that's is not slick. a drill, Mom. Like, that's this slick. is fucking real. I see it a hundred yards away from me. Because um, as a kid, I can guarantee that all of mine were drills. I never saw it. Oh, no. I, I saw it. Uh, yeah. I well, then, um, out as a kid. dude, I was just like, yeah. Uh, I mean, I kind of, huh. dude, yeah. <laughs> I was like, so also, <laughs> so I, uh, I went deep sea fishing and I was just fishing, catching some sharks and shit. And all of a sudden I see like a storm in the distance and I see the water, water pipe, spout. like water spout form, and I'm like, got guys, <laughs> guys, I'm like, there's tornado, tornado in the water, and they're yeah. like, and the, the uh, it was my ex's um, step, his stepdad and his best friend or his good friend. I went with them because he got like seasick, so I was like, I'm fucking going, man. I'm going on deep. I've never been. Let's go. And he was like. Some people come all their lives looking for water spouts and they never get to see one. And this is your first time and you get to see I was like, that's, that's great! Like, that's <laughs> Should I be fucking worried? <laughs> like, and he's like, yeah, no, nah, that's off in the distance. It's fine. And then, like, it got like a mile away and he's like, then, then, Maybe then, we should go. Then, no, then right his stepdad. <laughs> then, then his stepdad was like, "Yeah, let's go. Let's go all over the way." I was like, hard, "It is hard to judge distance a lot of times on the water too." Because I lived yeah. in the Florida Keys for a while, and water spouts were a thing. So you, know, there's such a there's such a large. I think it's shallow area around the Keys is that the water spouts happen all the time. So you really huh. have to be careful. I mean, it is, and for people who don't know, it's a little, it's a little. It's tornado, a water a tornado, water. basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you've seen the movie Sharknado, uh, real water real. sports. I mean, water spouts. <laughs> water sports. Blooper. <laughs> <laughs> <Water sports. laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Which is funny though, because I do have a friend that at some point I was in a restaurant and we were there was a commercial for Sharknado three, I think. <sighs> And me and my buddy were just watching the commercial, and we were like, oh, my God, this is ridiculous. And a friend of mine sat down and go, I, I can't believe that, that that people fucking believe that they could come up with this concept. Yeah. And this girl... They made three this, of them. But this... No, no, they've made a ton more now. Oh, there's like... But, I miss... As a fan, I'm very sad that I have not seen the last so couple. So my friend looks up at the TV, 
and believes that it's 100% real and goes, oh, those poor sharks. <laughs> and of course, me and, my, me and my buddy are just like... I feel what? like we've talked about yeah, this. Yeah, we, we definitely did. It was, it was amazing to have that conversation for a split second and be like, this person really believes that this... It's like a news story on, on TV right now. And she was like, how would that happen? <laughs> and so my friend's an engineer, and he starts telling her, like, and, and she's a draftsman for an engineer. He starts giving her some bullshit scientific answer, and she's like, <laughs> and I'm like, this is, this is so awesome. This is so awesome. I will remember that moment forever in my life when some chick thought Sharknado was real. <laughs> Maybe for a split second. And she and super intelligent, but Not you know, that some moment. people, some Common people, sense. right, some people, some people go that way. Um, so, number one thing, too, that I just heard, um, is taking ibuprofen can actually ibuprofen is bad inflame, idea. inflame the, uh, symptoms, right? Well, it's an anti-inflammatory that reacts badly with the virus. So, I'm not sure exactly how, but they're saying that, Don't uh, take it if, if you, you feel like you, symptoms. yeah, if you feel like, feel like you're getting flu symptoms, find a different means of, uh, medication. Do not take ibuprofen. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, well, that's um, the thing. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be aware enough to know that. I mean, it would, you would, you would hate to be somebody that wasn't in danger and put yourself in danger because you didn't know. Yeah. No. And um, like, and the question that I have that we that's not answered because I was talking to you guys upstairs is like, you know, say like say I did have it and uh, at Mardi Gras and I had no symptoms. You know, they're quarantining people for two weeks. Like, are you done being sick for two weeks? Do you carry it for two weeks? Can you still carry it on to other people? Honestly, is I, don't, it done? I don't know the answer to that. I think we're still learning a lot of that information. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. And I've heard I've heard things like... I've heard oh, three okay. weeks. You can be carrying for three yeah. weeks. Yeah, so and I've, I've heard, heard that too. I've also heard that, oh, it can be like the chicken pox, where it's very, very, very unlikely for you to get it again um, if you have it. Um, Plus, I think, there's, there, I think that you have it before you show symptoms too. So well, that's when, usually that's usually any kind of sickness right. though. But that's what I'm saying is like you're going if if people who are supposed to do a little bit more extreme personal distancing from everybody else and you, and you're like fuck it I'm not sick I'm gonna do whatever I want. Yeah. You just might not know it yet. Yeah. And then and then again you're putting other people at risk. Yeah, exactly. Like I've uh, I mean I've played with my dog a lot more. Like he's fucking happy. And dogs done... cannot give it to people, so do not drop oh, yeah, your kids we're... off it. I mean, yeah. do not drop animals. your dog animals off at the animal. They centers. can get it, but it's so minuscule that they cannot right. pass it on to you. They've had a couple do dogs test positive, but it's it's not something that they can transmit to humans. So please do don't not don't, don't get rid of your animals. animals. Don't make that issue worse. No. Um, but uh, a good thing that my teacher, the uh, my kid, is doing is she's sending us like activities, and there's even like um, I think there's like a virtual um, field trip that you can do. I haven't nice. checked that out. She sent that today, nice. but she also sent us like a to-do list. So it was like write your name and um, in different colors to make a rainbow. So and then it has like activity jumping jacks. Like she spelled her name out and like uh, the letter stands for like do five push-ups or whatever nice. and so we did that last night. I was like she's like she kept saying she's like mommy mama uh can we do those fun activities that my teacher said like can we do this can we do this and I was like yeah to do it. yeah awesome. and so like uh, and and I think it's encouraging so if teachers if you're not out there doing that already get, email your parents and give them something to do with their kids because I know I think that, a lot of the schools are are doing homeschooling but they're giving lessons to and that's where all these funny memes are coming up on Facebook and stuff like uh, I got my two kids home and it's the first day of homeschooling one's already skipped class and the, <laughs> and, and, and the other one's room in the hall well, you know, stuff like that um, I've also my mom is a teacher and she was gonna take uh, my daughter for two weeks and um, just to kind of give us something because right. you know my ex and us live we live together so he works from home and I have I had to go out and get a job at Amazon. Like my bills are still piling up. Like I had to, right. and you know they're taking safety precautions. And so she was going to take her, um, but uh, they can. You can also get uh, money for tutoring. So you can count. Like if you're at home with your kids and you're quarantined with your kids and you don't have a job right now, you can count that as tutoring, and that is actually right. technically money right now and I think uh, my sister-in-law is a teacher too and I think that she's doing lesson plans and stuff for 
to email out to the parents of the children that are in her class. But one of the articles that I did read was, if your kids are at home and they're not really focused on doing the schoolwork, be careful with forcing them to do it. Because yeah. they're also going through this period of time and it's probably really confusing to them. Yeah. So at the end of the day, the school isn't going to leave anybody behind. The school's going to pick up back at some point. So don't don't make the relationship between you and your kid during this time where you're going to have to be around them constantly Yeah. difficult. If it's easier to just let them decompress and go do something and then revisit it later. Absolutely. It's not, you know, don't push it, push it, push it, force it, force it, force it. One thing I've experienced that deflated my excitement balloon is what, my... The virus? Your no, excitement no, balloon uh, the virus? You no, excited? just myself, I'm my so own excited. personal excitement balloon. My favorite book as a kid was Castle in the Attic and I went and I bought like eight books at Books a Million and they're having a big deal right nice. now, obviously. And I found them used. It was like a dollar seventy five for the but first you one and then two dollars No, it was two dollars for the sequel. I was like, Yes! I'm going to read them to my right, kids. I've never heard of this book though. It is amazing. It's a great book. Unpaid read advertisement to kids. number one. Yes. For the coronavirus so, episode. So two. I started reading it to her and it takes a little while because like uh the the nanny is leaving back to England. He's like, Fuck you, nanny. I'm gonna steal really? all your yeah. children's book. Yep. Huh? It's like give him the bird. And so she gives Fuck him the you, nanny. <laughs> and then she like gives him the so she gives him this castle and there's this knight and there's a legend and You make like, it so interesting. <laughs> I'm getting this book. If it says fuck you nanny in this fucking book, I'm gonna be so thrilled. Are Spoiler there, alert, it does not, but it's Are there should. illustrations? No, it's only an illustration of the coin. So she doesn't she's not into it, but she's like First off, I didn't think that she was even listening. She's off doing something else, and I'm just reading the book. And, and like, there'll be, like, sentences, and she's like, uh, what? And she's involved in it. I'm like, okay. But then I was like, do you want to read The Castle in the Attic? She's like, no, nah, Mom, that book's kind of boring. I was like, well, we got to wait until the night comes alive, <laughs> and there's princesses and dragons. Princesses and she's like, and oh, okay. I was like, the night's about to come alive. And she's like, okay. And then she fell asleep right before he fell. He fucking came alive. And I was like, God damn it. God damn it, kid. Wake so, up, child. I am not done yet. So, so, this book should be read, goes, so this book should be read twice. It will at two different times. You should no, read I, it. I just kept reading and I'm, I'm going to wake her up to the excitement no, no, part. But that's what I'm saying is you read the first boring part as they're going to sleep. Yeah. And then when they make, wake up the next day, you go, all right, this is all. You summarize it and go, yeah. that's all the shit you missed. Yeah. And now, <laughs> and now, we're now start. there's dragons. And yeah, yeah. night fights and yeah. That part was unimportant. Not at all, but that was reading with my kid, one of my favorite books, and she shat all over it. She's not literally. Not literally. Okay. Well, I was gonna say. I was very disappointed. I love that book. <laughs> oh, you know what I did uh, with my mom over the, when I was home for my birthday? What? I watched a movie that had Jason Balboa in it. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Which for all you out there is Jason Momoa, he, who also was Aquaman. But somebody I was waiting really to go. likes to call him Jason Balboa, <laughs> which is which is Sorry, actually a Jason. pretty good movie. And it's it, your hotness. I can't even pronounce your name. <laughs> who, the name of the movie is Braven, and from some reason my mother wanted to keep calling it Brazen, <laughs> and I'm like, it's his I name his in the movie, <laughs> and I'm like, Brazen, and, and we were watching the movie, and his name is. Re- repeated a thousand times and, and it kept coming out brazen and so I could t- I could see my mom somebody that if there's a movie on and it might be after let's say 10 o'clock the end of the movie may not be seen and so she's got one of those automatic sofas and so it's like I can see she goes put her feet down and now she's like stared at the TV and I'm going man she's really fucking trying hard it was a pretty good movie and she's like Staring hard to try and, to try and <laughs> stay awake bond right? with me to watch this movie, which I think is funny. We do a lot of movies, which yeah. it's a great way to bond with somebody if you don't really want to have a constant conversation. Yeah. With them. So, but not we're together, I, but shut the fuck up. Right. <laughs> I'm watching the movie. I know, like. Uh, so she has to use the bathroom, and there's ten minutes left, and she's like, "We pause it. We pause it." She comes back, and that little bit of the sofa came up. <laughs> Didn't make that ten minutes. Within seconds. <laughs> Within seconds. I mean, 
I mean, there was probably five minutes of climax <laughs> in the movie, and then five minutes of uh, just like, credits. Yeah. And I'm just thinking, I wonder how many movies <laughs> she's made it through. That, no, no, no. Oh, okay. that, like, that the, the, the storyline is absolutely confusing to her because there's no resolution. It's like, you remember how that ended? Oh, well, yeah. They all were in the woods running around. I'm like, okay. All right. <laughs> Um, is there anything else you guys would like to add um, besides stay quarantined and go out only if necessary? Try and follow the rules. Yeah, absolutely. It's not worth it and it's already taking over the world and, and, and it's going to be a long, hard you, ride to get back to being normal. And so, My don't advice be, to you is to find a podcast called Let's Talk Boobs <laughs> that you could listen to and maybe watch and enjoy. As we're going through these times where you've got nothing but time. Yeah. I don't know where you can find that at. Maybe uh, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Our, uh, there's Facebook. A, there's a webpage I like to go to called Let's Talk Boobs. There is Let's Talk Boobs. Com. We have uh, our character bios on there, um, and we will be posting our other episodes. Um, and, we, and you know what? Z Thrusta. Z Thrusta will now be. We're gonna we're, we're gonna, gonna get, create we're, a character bio specifically for him as well, and where he came from. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he's also. Austrian. Yeah, Austrian. Uh, not not a lot of not a lot of people know this because he's in his suit, but he's he's a little older. He it could actually be a woman. went it to could, elementary it's a, school. It's a girl guy. He actually up, went to elementary school with Arnold. 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 He might have. No, he did. He oh. told me. We, oh, okay. We we may have a relationship that's a little closer than. Well, then you can write his bio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Delegation management. You're hired. <laughs> I'm the talent. We are friends. We are, we are friends without benefits, and you are friends with benefits. I, I know that he goes missing at times. And I'm like, me and the Thrusta do know each other very well. What about the Fista? <laughs> the Fista as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Well, again, like us on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Let's Talk Boobs, and definitely um, keep us posted. And if you have any questions, I mean, we all do. Um, just let us know. Have a good evening. Bye. Stay quarantined.